What is up? Nick Noke here. Welcome back to another Bike School video. And in this video, we're going to talk a little bit about spin direction. So if you're new to BMX or you've been doing it for a little bit and you think you are ready to do the 180 or the 360, you're probably wondering, you know, which direction should I spin? Well, you could do what I did and you just go with whatever direction in your head feels like it would be more comfortable. Now, one thing that I have learned is that what direction feels more comfortable to you before you've learned something doesn't really matter. Enough repetition of something and you can make any direction feel comfortable. So basically what I'm getting at is I wish that someone, when I first started to learn 360s, I wish that someone had actually tried hard to convince me to switch my spin direction because I think a lot of progression would have happened faster because I would have started spinning the correct way first. And what I mean by that is I'm sure you've heard of the term goofy footed. Uh, some people think it's goofy footed because you just look goofy when you do it. Um, that's not true. Goofy footed uh, is actually, it makes things more difficult. Like if you do a goofy footed spin, that's more difficult than doing a regular footed spin. And goofy foot has nothing to do with left foot forward or right foot forward. It has to do with the relationship of which way you spin in, uh, in association with which foot is forward. So like if you're left foot forward, the regular way to spin is actually to the right. If you're right foot forward, the regular way to spin is to the left. And I'm just gonna quickly explain why that is. So if you're left foot forward and you spin to the left, what happens is your hips eventually cross each other. Whereas if I'm left foot forward and I spin to the right, the hips would stay opened up. Imagine, like stand up and do like a Michael Jackson spin. You know, where you throw your right foot in front of your left and then you spin around in a circle. And like you'll see how that works and your hips kind of unwind as the spin goes around. Well, throw your right foot in front of your left and then try to spin the other direction. And you'll notice that your hips get, get locked. And that's kind of what happens on, on the bike is that you're working against the natural flow of your hips when you spin goofy foot. Now, obviously, I do 720s goofy footed. There's guys who do 1080s goofy footed. You can totally do it. But it is substantially more easy to spin the correct way. Like, it took me so long to learn how to do a hop 360. And then I started trying it the other direction. And it worked, like, pretty instantly. Even though in my head it didn't feel as comfortable, it was actually more easy. So, you know... Take into consideration, if you're left foot forward, you know, and you want to spin to the left, and you're okay with spinning goofy footed, just know that it might take you longer to learn it that way, even though it feels more comfortable. So what I would say is, honestly, try it both ways. Like, try learning it simultaneously both ways, and you may, may realize that even though it's more uncomfortable you know, your opposite preferred direction, it might just happen easier for you. And uh, yeah, that is goofy footed spinning and uh, my little bit of insight on which direction you should spin. So think about it. All right. See you in the next video.